Clearly, I need to socialize more. Hmm. I need to put more effort into socializing and staying connected with friends in 2024, right? Here's what I wish. I wish that... Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlog. This is your friendly neighborhood non-fluencer, Noah, and either you're new here or you're returning, but either way, you are back here in my apartment, in my living room, in my kitchen, in the Bronx, New York, with me, which is so freaking awesome. It would be even more awesome to know what you're doing right now, where you are, what time it is, how you ended up here. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave some love, because I love love. <laughs> this is something that you might not know, even though I mentioned it in a vlog before. I've been living in this apartment in the Bronx for five years and I've only had six people visit me and very infrequently so whenever somebody's coming over it's a big deal now my eight-year-old godson and his dad are on their way over they're gonna be here in two hours and Nicholas and I maybe are a bit overdoing it now you haven't seen the rest of the vlog yet but Maybe we might have overdone it. You let me know how you get when you're getting a surprise guest. And does it matter who the guest is? Because Nicholas and I do this for literally anybody that's coming over, we go crazy. So maybe it has to do with the fact that both my husband and I are Virgos. We're five days apart in September and we're not astrological sign people, but it is kind of fun. Like when you read into it, we both have very similar compulsions. Like when I open the medicine cabinet in the morning, every item has to face forward. Same with the fridge. Picture frames cannot be crooked on the wall. And let me just say that, I, you know, that sounds like perfectionist type qualities right there. And I think Virgos do have that reputation, but Nicholas and I are definitely reformed. We have grown and evolved together to make sure that we are not letting our compulsions rule us. So we entertain our compulsions, we like lean into them, but we're, it's not gonna be the end of the world and we're not gonna have like, we're not, we're not, it's not gonna be a distraction if we don't satisfy our compulsions. So, you know, it's like we have the best of both worlds. We get to satisfy our compulsions and feel the satisfaction of it, but it's not like completely disorienting if our compulsions aren't satisfied, so. Okay, so now that I've gone on and on about my compulsions, what sign are you and what are your compulsions? Go! So we started cleaning about three o'clock and it's an hour later and I'm feeling pretty confident that I could get a 10 minute ab workout, shower, get ready, eat, and be ready for them. Even though we are going to dinner after this, so I am planning to eat something light, but still, I never really know how well I'm gonna eat at a restaurant or how well I'm gonna be able to consume the macros that I wanna consume, so I always make sure to eat something at home. Do you remember, where did you put my little sample perfumes? To the right, in your little perfume. To my right? in your Christmas tree. Oh. Shelf. See, this is what I mean about overdoing it, right? I mean, not only do we execute the fastest mini deep clean in history, but I even changed outfits and accessorized. Like what? Okay, admittedly, this looks like we transitioned into a horror film with the blurred out faces, but you get it, you get it, right? 